Okay, this is Will. I'm going to show you real fast how you can hook up a, a battery meter to your uh, club car precedent. I've got a 2008 model. I think the wiring is pretty much the same under the dash for most of the precedents, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, I'm going to turn my phone around. Okay, try to make this real quick. Um, this is the meter that I purchased. Uh, this is from uh, one from China. Cost me about $24, I think. Um, you can get a Curtis or there's some other brands that are probably a bit better, but you know, I was kind of on a budget, so I got this one. We'll see how well it works. But um, it's real easy to hook up. You don't have to worry about running a bunch of wires to your battery and this and that. Um, if you have a, a precedent anyway, I don't know about the easy goes, but if you take off your, your little dash panel right here, you know, there's a couple of bolts. You unscrew it, you drop it down. Um, right by your key switch, you're going to see a bunch of wires, extra wires here that aren't hooked up to anything. Well, some of them are now because I already hooked them to my meter, but there's a a red wire right here and see this red wire back here is a positive that's a constant 48 volts coming from the battery this black and yellow wire is your negative and there's another wire here your blue wire with the white stripe that is coming through this conduit right here it was a free wire so it's able to hook up accessories so I've hooked all three of these to my meter Okay, the blue and the white wire is turned on and off by your key switch. The wire doesn't run right to your key switch, so if you, you know, don't get confused, just get your meter out, one of these, put it on 200 volts, because you're going to go over 20, and we're looking for 48 volts, so right around 48 volts, it's probably closer to 50. So, um, anyway. You want to start testing these wires if you're not sure, but it's always good to test them anyway before you hook anything up. So I tested this blue and white wire, and with the key off, it's zero, and with the key on, it turns up to, you know, your 48 volts. So that is my switched 48 volt. So that's how you get the thing to operate, the, the meter to turn on and off with your key. Real simple, right? So just hook all these wires up to the back of your meter like I've done. Black and yellow to the negative, red to the positive, and blue and white to C, or your key switch. And it's as simple as that. Uh, I even found that these precedents are pretty cool. Um, there's a little, um, as you can see it, let's see. A little rectangle right there with those two posts sitting out of it. That, I believe, is going to be the exact size I need to cut out for my for my meter and it's right in the right location so that's where I'm going to cut it out anyway but it's it's pretty nice you already have the wires there you have a template already etched in the plastic so just get you something to cut through that um, might be able to get through it with a nice utility knife probably just be careful not to cut yourself anyway um, thanks for watching the video and I uh, hope you get your battery meter working